You know who it is. You know what it is. This is Johnny Vino with Cantina Social, and I am here today with the founder and inventor of Coravin, Mr. Greg Lambrick. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, this is, uh, this, I, I wrote in the post today, have you ever looked at something, and every time you look at it, you said, how did they make this? What, why? This is obviously in, an ingenious invention, but... <laughs> My wife but, looks at me like that all the time. <laughs> why? But, but how, how did this come about? Uh, it, you know, I, the short answer is to end an argument with my wife. Um, I was, uh, I was continuing to drink wine even though she had stopped when she was pregnant. Okay. And, uh, she was seeing me open these bottles and she's like, can't you wait until, uh, <laughs> and you're throwing away half of them. And, you know, so, but the reality is, um, what I was thinking when I was young, I was 30 years old. This was, this is 20 years ago. Now I'm getting older. Um, and my wife was pregnant. I was thinking, you know, I drink wine by the glass, but ultimately I've got to commit to the whole bottle. Sure. And sometimes it makes sense to drink a full bottle. Uh, like when friends are over, or when my wife rarely uh, likes the same wine as I do. Sure. Uh, now here we're in a place where she loves, like this is what she drinks. <laughs> sure. Exactly. Um, but every once in a while I liked white wine. I okay. never opened white wine. Uh, and it was because you had to commit to the bottle. It, would, it was going to be my wine and my wine only where we could share this. Uh, so I remember thinking there, what I really want to be able to do is, is come home any day of the week on a Tuesday sure. and just drink a glass of white, a glass of red. And the reason I wasn't doing that was because I had to commit to the whole bottle. Sure. Uh, so luckily, um, I work in medicine. Okay. And uh, the very first products I ever developed were had needles and uh, hence, was, hence, yeah. So uh, chemotherapy delivery systems for kids. They went under the skin, okay. and we would access them over and over again during the course of their therapy. Yeah, sure. So I got really good at making needles that didn't do damage to things. So. Wow. Yeah, that's a one and one made two. Exactly. Uh, obviously, it's it's really it's amazing that someone probably from outside the wine world came in to create a product that created such an impact. But possibly that's that's a positive thing. That's a great thing that people need to start looking things from a different angle. So I, I invent new medical therapies and I've never invented twice in the same field. And I, I okay. very much believe that uh, you need to be shocked and surprised by what you see. Right. Uh, and, and you're not shocked and surprised when you grow up inside of an industry. Right. Uh, you get it when you come in from the outside. I think it's always an advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually the people that I bring into my medical companies and many of the people in Corvin are coming from outside of the wine industry. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, from other places like robots and you know, right. uh, coffee and uh, all these other places so that they don't bring in assumptions. Right. It might, you know, when you come down to it, all this tradition has evolved around 750 milliliter bottle with a cork and a foil. Uh, and you know, you open it when, when there are friends over, you open it when the two of you love wine, right. but there are all these moments you want a glass and you don't. Right. Because you just, or you, you open an inferior wine that you don't really care about. Of course, sure. So we, you know. we, we we're we're dictated by. Uh, I can we're, drink on yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> we're, that's that's, we're that's, that's the beauty of wine <laughs> communication. Um, no, but it, it is incredible how we are we are dictated by the bottle, its size, something that has, uh, and rightfully so, not changed over the years. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't see this. There's no reason for it to change. Exactly. Um, obviously, and there's incredible science that goes into the shapes of the bottle, the size of the bottle. There's there's reasons for all of these things. Sure. And so, again, to to find a way to kind of uh, you know find a loophole in the system, <laughs> or a or a needle hole in the system. Cheat to win. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this this tool is what is allowing people to enjoy a glass of wine of their choice. Yeah. 100%. And I think that's the coolest part is you get no to compromise. choose exactly. You get to choose exactly huh. what you want to drink every time you drink. And the beauty is obviously then that bottle stays the same yeah. for an extended period of time after. Yeah, so uh, that was what what I said when I founded the company, I want there to be no hesitation between you and whatever wine you want to drink. And and what that meant to me That's was you could go cool. back to that bottle 5 years later and drink from it again. And it should be just as if you had never touched the bottle. Right. And so, you know, it took me eight years of testing in my house to actually prove to myself okay. uh, that it worked. And I had to try all sorts of different wines. It was a terrible labor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Whites and reds from all over the world to see that it worked with that. Different needles, different gases. I use argon, which they use in the wineries to, to clear the bottles of sure. air. Um, and so, you know, I had to go through all of this testing just to convince myself that it worked, but friends started coming over, seeing that it was there, seeing how I was drinking differently. Okay. And they were like, hey, can I have that? 
so you know, here I was in my basement. Luckily, I've got a machine shop in my basement. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I can, I can, I can only imagine being in medical technology, the access to materials that you obviously oh, yeah. have, yeah. and uh, I'm, I'm a woodworker. In, As in is the, my wife. In the terms of, it was something my grandfather did. It was something my yeah. father did. I'm it's a, beautiful. I'm a DIY kind of guy. So you, I'm, I'm imagining your shop, and I'm. It's also probably the shop of my dreams. It's to a, be able to have the opportunity to create something like. It's this. important. That's actually my wife and I don't agree over the tools in the shop. So she's actually <laughs> built her own shop. Okay. Uh, but somehow we're still married. The the needle actually that we use in Corvin is from the same guy that supplied that one for chemotherapy. Okay. Wow. And actually the screw cap that yep. we have. Yeah. Same uh, rubber, the silicon rubber in the screw cap is the same one from that implant uh, wow. under the skin. So sometimes in in, uh, in in the world there are these incredible coincidences, absolutely, right? Where you you're lucky to be aware of technology, sure. and then you see an unmet need, and you're like, okay, wait, I can put this together with that, and I, it's another advantage from coming out from coming from the outside. Sure. You're asking different questions. You're asking, uh, we were talking earlier, those need statements that you were talking about, yeah. looking at looking at something from a different perspective. Obviously, whether it's the way that we're talking about wine right now or the way that you envision this tool, it's, it's about trying to bring something else to an experience that hopefully enhances it. It is, and you know, one of, the, my, one of my great fears when I founded the company was, uh, are we going to anger the guardians sure. of tradition? Right, right. You know, is there, who does this hurt, right? Um, it doesn't, it, so right now we're using wineries like, like Ceretto here, who's, uh, who's a great partner of ours in, in restaurants around the world. We're used by sales forces that I didn't know existed, uh, selling wine to restaurants and wine stores. Sure. Wine stores, we just came from La Vina in Madrid. And you walk in, they'll let you taste whatever you like. Uh, that, that, it, it is, I, I've gone to multiple restaurants and uh, even before uh, us talking about Coravin, I was buying wines by the glass with Coravin because oh, awesome. it gave me an opportunity to taste something that I probably wasn't going to be able to taste later on yeah. in life. Uh, whether it's, I'm not going to buy a few cases of these bottles to let them rest in my cellar or uh, my wife doesn't drink as much as I do. Yeah. So I'm often drinking by myself yeah. or tasting wine by myself. It, having that opportunity, you're, I think it's a tool that helps create some amazing memories. And so that, that, that's, uh, that, that's what's so special about wine. Yeah, absolutely. Wine locks, I think it's the smell, I, I, at least it is for me. Uh, the, the, you know, the lizard brain, the yeah. oldest part of the brain is linked to smell and, and it, it solidifies a memory. Like yeah. I'll remember this moment, sure. the two of us are meeting this. Should I have because line, exactly. Right. And it'll lock it in sure. and be part of that. It, so we just, uh, it's a crazy fact, but we just served more than 100 million glasses. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I, and it passed, like somebody did the math and they go, Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> we That's passed crazy. 100 million. And I think of that as, a hundred million experiences absolutely that somebody had and uh, i think to go back to what you said i think the guardians of tradition in the world of wine appreciate that you know what i mean yeah. that's that's the thing that that still brings all of this back together you're not you're not damaging anything because as long as you're maintaining these memories that, that piece that is what this is all about. Yeah, it's, there was a Burgundy producer, um, and I think it was uh, uh, Marquis d'Angeville, who said, you know, wine is the most social beverage. Absolutely. It's uh, something that's shared between friends. It's shared between spouses. It's shared with now. My kids are, that she was pregnant. Now he's 21. He's six foot five. <laughs> uh, and, and, you know, I, I just shared a, a great Pabanesco, actually, uh, with him that I'd bought uh, three or four years after he was born, his vintage. Very cool. uh, and I saved it in my cellar. And I did this, this with both of our sons. And I showed up uh, in his apartment uh, unannounced. And, and the two of us just sat down and drank this bottle together. That's so cool. Uh, that's it. That's the that's the dream. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's a, uh, it's this it's it's so many things. It's so highly varied around the world. There's Absolutely. so many great wines being Absolutely. made now. So many different experiences you can have. To me, uh, I think the. As somebody who's learning a lot about wine, this is a great learning tool. Yeah. And I think that's something for everybody to understand. Obviously, there's a huge pleasure side of this. But if you're someone who's interested in learning more about wine and paying attention to things, taking notes, etc., this is a great tool for you to have. Um, we're going to be talking about the new one, which yeah. is 
basically looks like a spaceship right now. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, you also have Corvin Notes, which is something that I've seen yeah, come up recently. Yeah, uh, Corvin which, Moments. Where, which, uh, which is really, really cool. To record your notes, so you can photograph the bottle, you can write how many you have, it can even be one, it can be zero, and then you can write your note on it. It'll remember the date because with Corvin, you know, yep. you don't know when you've Corvin the bottle unless sure. you write on the bottle. Uh, and you can save it to your cellar, and, and we try to organize actually the wines by style. Very cool. Uh, from That's light so to bold and fruity to earthy, because it's more than we want yep. to give people a, a connection, so that they could look at a white wine and a red wine that are similar in style. Sure, sure. And, and be able to explore wine in a in some sort of an organized way and try things that they've never tried before. Very cool. Um, yeah. So I was just with uh, a sommelier in Paris. He's an Italian guy. He actually won, he said he won the best beer sommelier of Italy. <laughs> and he's like, in France, that's like the best barbecue guy. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But uh, he's going, he was taking his advanced sommelier exam in London this weekend. And uh, he said, oh, hey, Greg, uh, Corbin guy, thanks for saving me all the money because I use this to sample through hundreds of wines Absolutely. to train. Absolutely, 100%. I do the same, actually. I'm, uh, I'm kind of a, I don't, I've got to figure out what the polyglot version is in wine, but I love wine from everywhere. Sure. I, that's part of its beauty. That's the fun part. Yeah. That's the You'll fun You'll never part. get bored. No, absolutely not. Right? Absolutely not. So real quick, what are some of these, what are the new features with this Coravin? What number are we on? What version is this? <laughs> What's the correct name? All right. So this is the Coravin Model 11. Why okay. is it 11? Uh, you've got to see um, uh, a movie. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Come on. A Spinal Tap. Okay. Uh, it's actually <laughs> the reason why we went to 11. We can't count at Coravin. Um, so... When I founded the company, I said, faster, easier, more fun than opening a bottle. Okay. Independent of closure, so screw cap, cork, which we now do. And then uh, still are sparkling, so we don't yet have sparkling, so hold off on the sparkling. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, this, this wine is faster, easier, and more fun than, than opening a bottle. So I'll, uh, I'll do a, a quick uh, core of an access. Yes. So uh, the way that it works, you can pour a glass or a taste. Oh wow! You can, that is that's that's an amazing that is an amazing tool right there because yeah. it's now it doesn't do measured volume but it's a consistent pour speed. Perfect. So you can set the speed on your phone, so you can set what you mean by even a glass. more connected. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, and the way that it works is you simply take it in your hand, press it down. This is we're doing this with one hand, by the way. Guys. Yeah, exactly. You still it's, got the mic. So that was what this this is from restaurants. They said one handed pour at a distance. Let me grab another yeah, glass. Grass. Yeah, I don't want to blend. I don't know why I'm my glass. Yeah, perfect. So uh, restaurant said, hey, I want to be able to pour one hand at a distance. And that's important, obviously. So you tip and it pours itself. Oh, wow. So it's, a, it's fully automatic. You just have to tip past an angle. And uh, I can stop any time just by tipping up. Wow. Like so the extra gas comes out. Perfect. And uh, a little bit of gas. And then I'll show you how you take it off. I'll hold the bottle. Easy peasy, that's quick, it. quick and painless. It's also got a handle if you want to pull it off, whatever you want to do. And that's and that's a but that's a cool aesthetic point for somebody in in a restaurant who's serving. Yeah, I mean, you, you're you're making it stylish. Not to say that that wasn't before, but yeah, but it, it, it adds that's, something. That's to exactly it. it. And when restaurants told us, hey, I can't get both my hands and around a customer to to pour sure. next to them. Sure, I want to be able to pour right next to them. This one they can just use with one hand. So I I look at restaurants as the opportunity for us. To break every prototype we make. Absolutely. And then redesign it until it doesn't break again. And then also add in features that they're asking for. Right. And then my goal is to be able to bring those features to the consumer. Absolutely. Uh, so that they can get, you know, what, what they're seeing in the restaurant. Absolutely. Wow. Well, thank you for taking the time. We definitely appreciate getting some, uh, some more inside knowledge about Corvin. And I think the coolest part is, obviously, this is a project that has not reached anywhere. I'm not going to say anywhere near its potential, but it's, there's still a We're lot right of, the beginning. yeah, there's still a lot of things to do. And I think all of those things are just going to bring more and more people into the world of wine and allow them to enjoy it. That's my hope is that you get to enjoy exactly what you want in the restaurant, at home, in a wine store, in a winery like this to optimize every moment uh, in your life, right? And uh, have the experience that you want to have. Why waste a moment? There, you shouldn't. That's the, in, in 2020, uh, I think we're over wasting time. Yeah. So yeah. it's time to enjoy every moment. So thank <laughs> you for it. this moment. Appreciate it, sir. Yeah, really a pleasure. Yes, Great indeed. Johnny Vino signing off for Cantina Social. Make sure you guys stay tuned. You're going to be seeing a lot more from Coravin. You don't want to miss it. Cheers.